Good morning and hope you're having a lovely day. I'm Terry and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel come join my Facebook group where we discuss movies and stuff like that and if you up to it follow me on Instagram I'll try to remember to put everything down in the description below so make sure you read that got a new hat recently they live pretty nice I like it but let's get on with the show because I got quite a few things to show you picked up from eBay bombshells actually a pretty solid movie I enjoyed it more than I thought I would and yeah definitely worth checking out this one was fantastic we got the last blockbuster documentary they have quite a bit of Kevin Smith in here along with these guys but yeah this was very good and nostalgia sets in and makes you want to go to Blockbuster but definitely recommend that one this one took forever to ship but finally got it glad to get it of course I'm gonna support the 4k over the blu-ray so I was willing to wait and it definitely was worth it although the sound wasn't great I had to turn it like way up to you know have a nice volume to it but picture was fantastic and that's Bill and Ted face the music on 4k sorry there's not more glare but yeah the US doesn't want to give us a 4k so just import I enjoyed this one as well and I picked it up from eBay and that's Victor Frankenstein not too many people talk about this one so that could be good and bad picked up the last witch hunter on 4k another one I enjoyed more than I thought I would and typical Vin Diesel with you know corny lines here and there but outside of that not bad kind of remind me a little bit of blade mixed with underworld I got this one yesterday actually haven't checked it out yet and it's been a while since I've seen it that's Dracula Untold more more vampires for the collection this one was from eBay it looked interesting enough the reviews were pretty good so I figured why not Cockney vs. Zombies people are comparing it to Shaun of the Dead just not as funny so probably worth a watch Here's the other one that I ordered from Grindhouse Tampa, and that is The Curse of the Werewolf, which I believe I have all the hammer horrors that have slip covers that came from Screen Factory now. Got reverse art, original artwork, or movie poster, which I'm considering picking up, maybe a small one. We'll see. This one also sh showed up yesterday, which was released yesterday. And, what you call it? The pictures kind of suggested it wasn't going to have a slip cover, so imagine my surprise when it did. And that's Sputnik. Getting messages so I couldn't see. Sputnik definitely looks like a good one. I haven't opened it yet, so... But I don't think there's artwork or reverse art because this is the original art. Also picked up for, you know, the vampire collection. And that's Daybreakers. It was decent. The, well, the last time I seen it, which was a while ago. I didn't find it great, but definitely looking forward to revisiting it and seeing if I still think it's decent or... Whatever the case may be. All right. This one find first time to Blu-ray, and I don't think I showed you guys. We got Small Soldiers. If you love action figures and animated features, this will probably be right up your alley. 
yeah. Last but not least, well, at least for now, I'm expecting a couple more things in the mail, but I don't think it'll get here in time to show you what I've picked up before today. But got the complete series of the Adams family. Unfortunately, it's DVD only. But happy to have this set in the collection. Nice, nice for October season with this and the monsters. And I already have the movies, so let's complete that series. All right, you have a wonderful week and weekend. Stay safe out there and oh, oh rewind and enjoy the show.